guys and welcome to another video so for today's video I'll be sharing with you what I say a do-over of three of my early videos and um, the reason why I decided to do a do-over was simply because like I shot those three videos early on in the pandemic like you know when things were people didn't know what was going on and those stuff so um you know now it's 2023 and they're slowly easing stuff they're kind of back to normal right now so i was like why not give them another try so hence this video so be before you know it please enjoy this video So it was a really bright and early morning right here in the condo but we were getting ready to move as we have a full day of traveling ahead. Now considering that this is the early morning right here in Metro Manila, it isn't traffic which is a good thing considering how notorious traffic can get right here in Manila. Now about 30 minutes later, we arrived at this place called Runway Manila, which is one of my favorite spots to actually plane spot in Manila. It's basically an overpass but it's really nice overpass so um, yeah it's a great place to chill and do some plane spotting while waiting for your flight. Now back in Naia Terminal 3, people are starting to come since it's the start of the Holy Week break and people are starting to go to their provinces including us. Now our first flight today is off to Cebu and after one very 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 cheesy sandwich like you can pull the cheese off we were off to the gate now the gate area was really really packed yeah, considering it was the morning and we slowly made our way to gate 119 for our flight to Cebu Now it's a really good day to plane spot, was able to spot a lot of Cebu Pacific planes, especially the, the ones with the retro livery, which is actually a good thing considering that look is disappearing really really fast. Soon enough, our Airbus A321 arrived and it was a beauty to see her while I just laid back on my seat chilling around. Soon enough, it was time to board the plane and as always, in true Cebu Pacific fashion, people scrambled for the gate and slowly made their way to the jet bridge all at once.
And another thing that Cebu Pacific is pretty known for are these notorious wait times at the jet bridge since the aircraft is not yet ready. So when I got on the plane, I'm really surprised and amazed that they brought back their small magazine and that's really a good thing that means things are really back to how they were before. So the crew did their usual thing of doing the safety demonstration and before you knew it, we were pushing back and began our long taxi towards runway 06. Now this is some kind of a foreshadowing as I'll be taking one of these ATR 72s to carry on the oral later on. Now Manila is really a great place to plane spot as we got to pass by La Ilia Terminal 2 and 1 and saw all the Philippine Airlines and all other carriers there and that way looks so cool. Soon enough, we're on our way to Cebu. Now it was a pretty chill and short one hour flight that went by so quickly and before you knew it, we were descending towards Mactan Sabu International Airport.
Now setting foot right here in Cebu is a really good feeling since it's been like almost 3 years since I stuck here during that last video you've seen last 2020. The next part of my video is kind of like a direct reference to, um, let's just call it the 2020 rant video, which got like 6,000 views. Thank you so much for the love. And from this point on, I'll just be referring to it as the 2020 rant video. But before we get to that, I have to show you how good this airport is. The last time I went here, it was being renovated, and now it's finished, so it looks way better than it looks like before. And it kind of meets it, my standard for an international airport, which is kind of like this like really nice, really clean, and really cool to look at. Now after security, it gets even better as there are many more shops and fast food outlets right after security. In fact, I'd say this is way better than 99% of domestic airports around the Philippines, including Naia which I just flew from. Now that right there is Terminal 2 where international flights depart from. Another thing I find really surprising is that in this domestic terminal, they have a Plaza Premium Lounge. So once again, I did some train spotting, this time with a cup of those coffee in my hand. And it's a really great afternoon to do some train spotting. Now, since our train is on ATR 72, our gate is located downstairs, which is basically just a giant waiting shed with no shops and just small toilet. Now one thing I like about boarding by bus is that you get to see the other planes around close up including some turbo props we passed by which I find like really cool. Ah uh, yes, here she is again, the same kind of plane I featured 2 years ago in that infamous video. The first thing I noticed is that this time the air conditioning is working unlike in the 2020 rant video where it was just a steaming sauna. Soon enough, the cabin crew closed the door and we started our engines and we taxied to the runway. The features of this aircraft. Each seat is provided with a seat belt. To fasten, push ends together. Tighten seat belt by pulling loose ends. However, one thing I noticed is that the windows are still pretty dirty which is just like my previous 2020 rant flight. And just like the flight earlier, there was the same issue of Smile magazine available in the seat pocket.
just to confirm this time the reading lights were actually working unlike in the 2020 rant video. Also another thing I noticed that these tray tables are not designed to hold mobile phones and some of them are even found to have been broken on this flight. Soon enough, we were diving through the clouds and starting our descent towards Lagunjingan Airport. thought that was the end of the video but I just have one more thing to show you guys and that one more thing is so good I just had to include it here because I believe you love it as much as I do and this thing is called Demetrios which is a pizza place and they're actually everywhere in Cagayan de Oro like they're everywhere in the city but we went to this specific branch in Claveria. I've shot many videos there by the way. And um, you just have to try the pizzas. So now let me show you what it's like. Now the place itself is really cozy. Considering it was late afternoon we went there and it's sort of a cozy mountain um, modern cottage vibe now i highly recommend their pizzas because it tastes really good and you should really try it that's it for today's video hope you had fun and don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell and also to follow me on instagram that's at yq underscore studios that yt and also to follow my podcast on spotify for you know life updates and actual confessions that's living with yoshi and as always stay safe and enjoy your life